What is Webpack? Webpack helps us with one important problem. We got, if we build a website, all these different files. We got a lot of JavaScript files over which we distribute our code. We got multiple CSS files, probably multiple images. And we can copy them manually to the server we're running the app on. Though, for example, for JavaScript, we probably need to bundle them all into one file for shipping them because most browsers don't support multi-file JavaScript apps where we try to import from our files. And that is where Webpack comes into play. It helps us bundle and optimize all these things. So it helps us set up a development workflow where we have some input files, which it then bundles together or transforms or does whatever we plug into our setup, which is a core part of Webpack, so that we get some optimized and bundled files, which we then deploy so that we get the best of both worlds. A development setup where we can write verbose and understandable code and code that we ship that is as small as possible. To make that work, Webpack follows the structure you see here. We have certain entry points, like the app.js file, where it starts analyzing our project. And if we then, for example, import another JavaScript file into that file, it will automatically pick that up and add it to the bundle. And thereafter, we bundle everything, optimize everything, and get some output. Now, in between these two steps, we can plug in some loaders, which do something to the files, like for example, transpile next-gen JavaScript to current-gen JavaScript, which runs in more browsers. These are so-called module loaders. They are applied on a per-file level. And additionally, we get so-called plugins, which then take the entire bundle and do something with it. Like, for example, uglify it, so minify it. That is what Webpack is, a helpful tool we use during development to write code that's readable to us, but usable by browsers.